welcome back to the Ranch Doctor Uptown here. Gotten a question from a couple of folks about how to remove the grip safety without removing the mainspring housing. And in theory, it's a fairly simple process. We'll see uh, how well we can do it here. Uh, basically, we're going to start off by removing the thumb safety, which, as we all should know, and there went our plunger spring but as we know we go to the uh, halfway point between on and off with our thumb safety wiggle it and pull it directly out and as you can see that leaves the grip safety loose inside the frame now the theory is you should be able to come directly out in doing so. Like I say, I've never actually tried this before, so I don't know that it is actually possible. It may be possible. It may not. With this particular setup, I'm going to say it's going to be impossible with this particular firearm. Well, let's just go ahead and remove the uh, main spring housing out. See if I've got my smaller punch here. I don't know that I do. Yeah, this one will fit it. So just looking this over. The um, one user that had asked me about it, the hidden part, and he had mentioned a uh, post where they had actually shaved down this arm ever so slightly on the top end. And what that did was that allowed the clearance. to rotate that out with the mainspring housing in place. So, my response to him was I hadn't ever tried it before. But, um, that I thought it might be possible depending on the pistol. to take it out without removing the mainspring housing and like I say I just randomly pulled this particular one out and I can see that it would not be flip this over and we'll see if we can get a closer of view down in there and as you can see that it's going to catch on the tang right there and then you also have two little feet on the grip safety there that would prevent the grip safety from popping out that way with the mainspring housing in place so to answer the question, 
at least on this particular pistol, and I would say that that's probably going to be uniform for most 1911s. It is not possible to remove the grip safety without taking at least a small portion of the grip safety and removing that small portion of the uh, upper portion of the arm to uh, and that screwdriver is going to be too big I need to get my little thin one I guess a little Allen wrench here. We'll try that. But it's not going to be possible to remove that without taking and removing that small portion of the arm off. Which, there's probably no real consequence to doing that. However, the small amount of area that is in play with the grip safety and where it makes contact with the hammer bow as it moves back it could possibly be affected to the point that it makes that grip safety inoperable and then you're kind of going backwards because you're basically taking a safety out of play so I would say if you guys were wanting to experiment a little with it and try it, then I've shown you what portion of the grip safety would need to be shaved down uh, to get your clearance. However, it wouldn't be a modification that I would necessarily recommend. And basically, there's really no reason why you should need to remove that grip safety without um, removing the main spring housing. If you're going to if you were doing it for the ease of cleaning it, you really should go ahead and remove all those parts out and do a uh, detailed strip. Remove all those parts out and clean them individually because you're still going to have flakes of stuff that get in there and there's just no way for them to get out without completely breaking down the frame. So anyway, uh, glad you guys were able to join me on this little experiment. I hope you guys find this interesting. We'll talk to you later. You have a good day.